Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good evening. Excellencies, it gives me great pleasure to address you today at this CBF Pre-COP Forum of Vulnerable Nations. This meeting will strengthen the cooperation among our member countries and would help to achieve sustainable development while safeguarding the environment. I must extend sincere appreciation to the Democratic Republic of Congo and Climate Vulnerable Forum for hosting this meeting. Let me congratulate Ghana for the presidency of the CVF Forum for the next few years. Excellencies, distinguished participants, the adverse effects of climate change are reflected across the recovering economies of all CVF member countries. Therefore, this pre-COP High-level meeting is a timely and an encouraging preparatory process towards the UN Climate Change Conference COP27. Since Sri Lanka has been listed as one of the most vulnerable countries in the global context, implementing of climate actions are very vital to us. In this context, Sri Lanka expected to achieve its carbon neutrality by 2050. My minister, the Ministry of Environment, is developing a roadmap to achieve this target. Sri Lanka is a member of the Climate Vulnerable Forum since 2015, which is engaged to obtain more opportunities for combating climate change impacts. I strongly believe that the proceedings of preparatory meetings such as this meeting will produce successful outcomes and recommendations targeting environment conservation and to address climate issues of Member States, Your Excellencies and Distinguished Delegates, following good governing principles, His Excellency Ranil Vikramasinghe, the President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, and myself as the Minister in Charge of the subject of environment, is very keen on sustainable environment management. It is indeed a great pleasure and privilege to announce that, under the guidance of His Excellency the President, we are preparing Climate Prosperity Plan with the assistance of Climate Vulnerable Forum and B20 Group. Two experts from the CVF came to Sri Lanka last week to develop the Climate Prosperity Plan and had several stakeholder meetings to develop it further. His Excellency the President wished to present Sri Lanka's Climate Prosperity Plan in the COP27 in Egypt. Finally, I wish this forum can discuss further about the Accra Kinsha community of the CBF, providing our vulnerable nations with a powerful platform to convey our collective demands and proposals for COP27 while advancing CBF priorities. Concluding my statement, I wish to extend our appreciations to the, to the Climate Vulnerable Forum for its efforts on the environment front, as well as for the valuable support extended for developing climate prosperity plan in Sri Lanka for better environment management. The deliberations of this meeting will help to proceed as significant and impactful decisions at the COP27 of the UNFCC later this year. I wish this meeting all success. Thank you.